Hey guys, and welcome to WWE Interviews here on Stinger Wild, where we bring you all of the biggest names and all of the coolest interviews in the world of WWE and professional wrestling. Oh, hell yeah! In today's interview, we have wrestling legend Stone Cold Steve Austin as he is talking to former WWE referee and timekeeper Mark Yeaton. He was the guy who used to sit at ringside and ring the bell, in other words, and he would be the guy throwing Stone Cold Steve Austin all those dozens of beers at the end of those classic Attitude Era pay-per-views. Who can forget that? So Mark and Steve here share some fun stories of their times back in the Attitude Era and what it was like throwing and catching all those beers. Let's go check it out. And I want to evolve this conversation into you throwing me beers. I don't um, know how many times I've had people ask, hey man, who was that guy throwing you all those beers? And I always say, hey, it was a time, it was a timekeeper and former referee, Mark Yeaton. Hey, uh, going back to the, the beer throwing, you threw me so many beers and you had just a hell of a damn touch on that arm where there because most of them were like an underhand lob and you know we had signals i was watching a couple of uh, highlights of us catching beers on youtube and i'd give you this kind of the sky hook thing like i was going to catch it over my head uh and you, you would toss the beer accordingly and pretty much hit the target almost all the time and it's amazing how many of those beers I caught. And people, I think I did have a pretty good knack for catching beer, but also I had a pretty good quarterback. And so there was there was a few occasions when you weren't the guy throwing me the beer. Sometimes it was Chimel, someone, sometimes it was whoever was there because you weren't at every single show. You were at most of them. And so I was, I was like, where's Eaton? Where's Mark? Because I remember a couple of years ago, uh, Terrell Owens was talking about Romo. That's my quarterback. As my quarterback, but Mark Eaton was my quarterback. So if you weren't there, it was it was just a little off for me because you were my favorite quarterback to throw those beers. And there was a couple of them, and you'll remember these where I'd give you the signal, and I'd probably had to been at least thirty yards away, and I'd give you the signal, and you'd kind of give me that that like a catcher behind a plate, you kind of give me the no, and I'd like give me the yes, you're gonna throw that beer, and so you kind of like okay, here goes, and you'd launch about a thirty yarder and. Because you was worried about the, the beer cascading, hitting someone in the head. Do you remember those throws? Yeah, I remember them. Making me throw them over the ring, up the ramp to the stage a couple times. Yeah, you made me throw them quite a, fit, uh, quite a distance sometimes. I was always afraid. To, I mean, you were a great catch, so that was always good. But it was always the fear of me getting one of those beers going that distance and going into the crowd and hitting somebody. I'm like, oh, but you never let that happen. <laughs> I was going to say, even if you didn't catch it completely, and you, you, know, you still stop it. <laughs> I was going to stop like, it from hitting the, hitting the fence. But I can't tell you how many times I left that ring and I had a little bit of a buzz because of all the beers I drank. You know, when you shotgun about, you know, anywhere from six to 12 beers and maybe you get half of them in on an empty stomach after you've wrestled, it goes to your head pretty quick. And there's a couple times when I got to do a little bit of business with Goldberg and we do something after a match. And I'd go out there and I kept tossing Bill beers. And this is back when Bill didn't really drink beer. And he had to drink them to keep up his gimmick because Stone Cold's throwing, to, throwing them to him. So, you know, I'd always keep shoveling him beers to get him buzz. You know, it was, it basically, it was a rib. <laughs> I, I don't know how you walk back sometimes it's with some, the number of beers you drank that I threw. I go, I would go through two or three cases, and she's, you. I don't care if you're drinking a third of the can. That's still a lot of beers you were taking. I mean, you'd pour some on some guys and so on and so forth, but you always get a lot of beer in you. I have. I don't think I'd be able to walk out of the ring after that. <laughs> Never mind up the, up the ramp and backstage. You know, towards the end, Mark, I always tell people I, I got paid to drink beer and I wrestled on the side. I got paid to drink beer and I wrestled on the side. Classic Steve Austin right there. But damn, didn't Stone Cold have such an awesome catching record with those beers. He barely ever dropped one. Even when he's come back to WWE Raw in recent times and he's getting the beers thrown to him from ringside, he still has a very good catch on him and he barely ever drops them. And he wasn't just catching one at a time either. If you can remember, he'd have two, three, four going at him at one time and he'd catch them all. That was just legendary stuff and so awesome at the end of those classic Attitude Era pay-per-views when Austin would just skull the beers, kick ass and take names. The crowd was so into it, pro wrestling was so hot at that time and Stone Cold sure knew how to get a crowd going. 
back in those Attitude Era days, I don't know if I've ever heard a louder pop for any pro wrestler than Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hulk Hogan and The Rock obviously got massive crowd reaction, that goes without saying, but when Stone Cold was at his peak, busting those bears out, doing his thing in the Attitude Era, it's pretty hard to beat the crowd reaction he got in all of pro wrestling. So you heard timekeeper Mark Yeaton saying there how Stone Cold will go through two to three cases of beer at the end of those shows. That's how many cans of beer he would be throwing Stone Cold. And Stone Cold would pretty much damn near drink all of them. Damn, was that an awesome time in pro wrestling or what? And of course Stone Cold has now come out with his very own brand of beer. How fitting is that? It's the Steve Austin's Broken Skull IPA. So that is a very cool thing. It was just going to be a matter of time, right, before Steve Austin brewed his own beer. But there were so many awesome times with Austin and him getting up to his antics with his beer, whether he was driving a Zamboni to the ring, giving the corporation a beer bath, throwing beers at Kurt Angle, toasting his fellow competitors in the ring and then hitting them with a stunner. The crowd absolutely loved it. Entertainment Plus from Stone Cold Steve Austin. So thanks guys for tuning into the video. Remember, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Tell a friend about the channel and we will catch you next time here on Stinger Wild for more WWE interviews. Woo! Thanks heaps guys for tuning into the video. Be sure to drop a scorpion death drop on that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome pro wrestling action from the WWE, the WCW and much more.